do your thing. I said I'm about ready to do my thing. Well, do your thing. Y'all ready? <laughs> we ready. The cool thing about prayer is the one thing that's available to everybody at any given time. Do you know that God ain't ever too busy for you? You know that God actually knows who you are? Do you know that God actually created you to converse with him? Do you know that God would actually love to hear from you? Do you know that I like talking to him even when I don't really need nothing? So when I do need something, I don't want to have to introduce myself to him. Word from the wise. Now, if he can trust you with the pain, then he can trust you with the power. Earlier this week, I had the time to sit back and reflect back on when I was a teenager. And I had to ask myself, Tish, how did you miss it? And I came to the conclusion that it was the lack of understanding that I had about God. You notice when we don't understand something, we have a tendency to reject it. And while we're trying to understand something, and if we're still not understanding it, it causes frustration and confusion, and we forget about it. But if you are unaware in your intellect of who God is, it doesn't mean that it's not true. In my innocence, y'all, I thought you had to be perfect, okay? When I was younger, I thought you had to be perfect. I mean, at least that's how the church folks acted. And I thought when you accepted Christ as your Lord and personal sa Savior, that you would live happily ever after. It was the lack of understanding. And I keep hearing y'all, I keep hearing that, oh no, you don't question God. Don't you question God. But ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, if you read your Bible, then you will know that the people had a lot of questions for God. Now I was just reading in chapters, uh, in, in chapter in Matthew and in Mark, right? I read those chapters and this was the era of uh, Jesus and his ministry. And all he did was answer questions because they didn't know. What do you do when you're trying to get to know somebody? Now what if me and you, you don't know me, I don't know you. What if we get into trying to know each other? What are we gonna do? We're gonna ask questions, right? We're gonna ask questions. We're, we're gonna spend time together so so we can get to know each other a little, little bit better. Same thing. That's what Jesus did. He spoke to them. He spent time with them. And a teacher, listen, a teacher teaches, a student asks questions. That's what he did. And through his day-to-day -day walk, he gave them the game. He was, he was healing the people. He was casting out demons and he was preaching to them. And you know how he spoke? He spoke to them in parables. And this made me realize with people that although in Matthew 13, 13, although they may see, they do not see. Although they hear, they do not hear. So some of you are not going to receive it. You have to be open. Uh, you have to be in a place where you're able to receive what I'm giving to you. What questions do you have for God today? What is it? What is it that's keeping you staring up at the ceiling at night when you know you're supposed to be sleeping? What is it? You have to know that your mind, your mind complicates everything. It's probably telling you right now that <laughs> she lying. She don't know what she's talking about. But let me tell you a quick story that I heard. We're going to say Coco's and Pebbles. Coco, Coco and Pebbles. Okay, Coco and Pebbles was at the house. Coco went outside and she saw a big snake in the yard. Okay, Coco came back in. She didn't even say nothing to Pebbles. Pebbles went out. And when Pebbles went out, she got bit by the snake. And Pebbles came in and she said to Coco, Oh my God, girl, I just got bit by a snake. It was a big snake in the yard. And Coco said, 
I know. And people say, well, why you didn't tell me? I'm telling y'all that there is a snake in the backyard. Now, you can go and check the scene out for yourself, or you can take heed. It's up to you. It's up to you. Listen, if you don't know God of his, or of his son, Jesus Christ, ask him to reveal himself and do your part in seeking. You don't look for a treasure standing in one place, do you? Y'all think about that. God loves you. Mm, mm, mm. He loves him some use. It's your girl, your big homie, TT. Thank you for allowing me to pour this sweet tea of love, inspiration, and motivation. Y'all tune in next week and see what God going to do. Because you know, I have absolutely no idea. But this I do know. This will work if you work it. Only if you work it. God bless each and every listener on today. And remember this. I'm going to leave you with this. The most important commandment Jesus said that we had to keep was love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and all your strength. And that is the key. It's about the relationship. It's not about the church. Y'all be blessed and I hope and I pray that I see you on next week. Y'all already know what to do. Bye.